tell you what uh warning the views expressed on this show are not those of any company this is a talk show that is hosted uh fuck i looked away when i was reading the warning <laughs> i looked away so now i can't even read it okay let me try that again warning the views expressed on this show are not those of any company this is a talk show that does not represent any single organization these are idiots emphasis on the idiots talking about stupid shit if you're under the age of 18 tune the hell out okay so yeah, I, I resemble that remark. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. So uh, we're back in the saddle today. Uh, hold on. Let me go live over here. Boom. Are okay. you recording? Uh, yes, I am recording. Uh, new year, new me. I actually hit record. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Yay. Yay. Oh, man. So, uh, Tom, this is the first show of the new year. And, yes. And, and Steph, uh, is there somebody missing between me and Steph? I feel like there's like a gap that's been uh, been created here. Yeah, my, my ace Boon Coon is out of town right now. Boon Coon. Am I allowed to say Boon Coon? Because sure, that sounds yeah. kind of... What the hell is a Boon Coon? My ace. Yeah. A, a Boon <laughs> Coon? Mrs. Mrs. My Elbow Buddy. When we hear funny shit... Oh, she always, elbows yeah, you? Anytime you see an elbow going on, yeah. you know, some, somebody said something Boon that deserves But Boon Coon sounds like a word that I'm not allowed to say. So our first show, we're, Just sans, we're sans Missy. Because, yeah, we're Sans Missy. Missy is at... Uh, where's she at? She's at uh, Walt Disney World. Nice. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Lucky. Jealous. Mm-hmm. Lucky, lucky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's out there, uh, you know, hanging out. She's been there for a bunch of days, and I guess she rode that new ride, that Rise of the Resistance today Very or something. jealous. Yeah, Very hey, jealous. Hey, hey, Nate, did you send her a link? Did she respond at all? She's probably asleep, because what time is it in Florida right now? It's uh, 8, Four, 9, 11. 10, it's, it's 11 o'clock. o'clock? Yeah, she's not going to call in. Uh, I mean, she calls in. She's got a bunch of kids in there asleep and stuff. Sent her a link. Uh, yeah, but did she respond to it? No. Okay, well, I guess it is They've what it is. They've been up since, like, the ass crack of dawn. Yeah, they got up at 4 a.m. this morning to uh, uh, ride that Rise of the Resistance. I actually went to the parks on Sunday. I went to Disneyland, Tom. Was it jamming? Oh, it was. Uh, it was. It was packed as hell. I can tell you that. You know, I did. You know, I did for the first time, and I'm going to say this out loud, and, it, and nobody really cares about it except some of the people in the social club community. But you know, what I did for the very first time, Steph. What's that? I went into a patch-in ceremony from another club. Oh, how was it? I don't know. I don't even know who was getting patched in. I think it, did, Nate, it? did we show up a little too late? Was that what was going on? Hold on, let me see. Let me get your mic on over there. Hold on. Because I was rolling with Nate, and uh, and and I went with him. Nate, is your mic working? Orange mic test. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Did we miss the patch in when we went over to the patch in ceremony? We missed the actual patch in. Yes. And who was getting patched in? Uh, somebody from Maroon Tunes. Well, okay. All right. All right. Oh yeah, it's like a baby, right? A, a kid. Baby. Oh, it yeah, was a baby. Kid. Yeah. Literally, it was a baby. Very cool. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, f- I felt a little out of place uh, at a You were very in. warmly received. Was I? I believe so. Oh, well, that's, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's to his face. <laughs> <laughs> to, my, to my face, they were very nice. Okay. But anyways, yeah, so I we went to Disneyland. It was uh, crowded as hell on uh, on Sunday. I guess it was the first day where all the, uh, the, the, the passes were allowed back into the parks. And so it was just, it was just nutty, nutty busy, nutty busy. Nutty I'm busy. glad I didn't go. Yeah, you didn't. Parking was ridiculous. I got off the freeway and I was trying to park at like one o'clock. I couldn't get anywhere. I ended up going to Shannon and Nate's house and Ubering in with them after I already drove around the park for like an hour and a half. <laughs> at least you made it. Eh, at least I made it. At least I made it. And uh, yeah, I can tell you that. And then uh, so Missy's been gone on this vacation and I thought, you know, oh, this is going to be cool. You know, Missy's gone. I don't have anybody looking over my shoulder. I can do whatever <laughs> I want. No, D, no, no DD either. Yeah. Well, yeah, and that's when I realized really quick that shit is going downhill in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, you got fur, you got fur babies at home that are like children. Yeah, and I didn't realize how much of a dickhead these dogs were. Yeah. You know, because I'm rolling in, I'm, I'm getting off work like on uh, Friday night. You know, I get in about 4 a.m. Saturday morning, mm-hmm. and dickhead dogs are ready to go outside at about 5.30 a.m. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and... Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, I would have rather been locked up this entire time that Missy's been gone than take care of them four <laughs> fucking dogs. I can't do a goddamn thing. So basically what it sounds like is you're learning to appreciate. I'm learning how to appreciate a life without dogs. Yes, that's what I'm learning how to appreciate. That's not really what I was going for. I was trying to, I threw you a, I threw you a hook. But it works. It works. I'll tell you, I mean, the dogs are ridiculous. I can't even leave. Like, I had to lock them all in different rooms when I left today. I don't even want to go back home. I don't want to go back home tonight. I just want them to, like, die their little doggy death in the bathroom where I have them locked up, and I don't even want to go back. 
they're that much a pain in the ass. Slightly harsh, but hey, I don't, hey, <laughs> I like dogs. They're not as cute as those koalas in Australia. I can tell you that. That is probably correct. Uh, but uh, so yeah, I've been doing that, and so my life's been a total wreck since Missy's been gone. Um, it's I just have fur over all my clothes. Have you been eating? You know what? You know what she left me? What cans of soup? <laughs> I've literally been on a soup diet since she left. Well, awesome. At least she listen. At least she thought enough to leave you some. Food. I haven't even had solid food since she's been gone. <laughs> but at least she thought enough to leave you some food. And I and I would leave to go mm-hmm. get food. Not where they live. But I would leave to go get food. No, but it's a two hour process of getting all the dogs separated and getting them where they need to go before I can even leave the house. So it's just like fuck it. I I would rather starve. I would rather die of dysentery and starvation like I'm on the fucking goddamn <laughs> Oregon Trail than leave the house and do the twenty minute drive to go get a Del Taco burrito. <laughs> die of dysentery. Dysentery. <laughs> That's Is all that you even ever a done. thing anymore? Do That's, people still get dysentery? If you play the Oregon Trail, hey, you do. I got <laughs> rheumatic fever. I think I'm possible of catching any fucking I was going to say, yeah. you you got a disease that nobody's had for 100 years, so there's a good colonizer. chance. I'm going to go out with polio. <laughs> You're a colonizer. <laughs> he's gonna bring. Bla- so. He's gonna be the one that brings back, back like the black plague and shit. <laughs> the bubonic. Yeah. Yeah. So hey, uh, wait, dude, Steph. I was wondering, do we do we have like a fantasy football type version of anything for World War Three? Because I want to jump on that shit early if we do. Uh, I do not believe so, but um, I think if they just give me control of a drone like mm. COD. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. that's what we're going to right now. Pretty soon, we're not even going to need soldiers for the military. Do you really think we're going? We're getting ready to. On, we're on the brink of World War Three. I do not think so. We're on the brink of something. I do not think so. I don't I know think if it's it, would, be World it would be War III, over though. before it actually started. I think we're on the brink of just shoving a couple missiles and some targeted assholes, and then it will be done. Over I think there's a good chance there's going to be some new parking lots in the Middle East pretty soon. Mm, but do you think that like China and Russia is going to jump in and going to make turn this into fucking the uh, I certainly hope End not, because mm. I saw Red Dawn, and it didn't turn out very well for the Americans. Mm. I wow. never really, I mean, uh, maybe I'm not just, maybe I'm not political enough. I never understood why we even do stuff like that. Like, we have so many problems here, like so many problems here in the United States. And I, I, I mean, I, I get that portion of it. Somebody said oil. Um but the whole thing that we're just so willing to go police the entire world, like that's our job. Well, you've got you got different perspectives going on. Like, like like the libertarian perspective would be like, well, why do we have our troops there to begin with? Why are we stationed in the Middle East? You know, what well, what are we doing there to begin with? And then you got the people here saying, well, whoa, yeah, Trump was making fun of Obama back in, you know, 2015, 16, whatever the hell it was, mm-hmm. saying that Trump is going to start a war with uh, uh, Iran. Uh, to get reelected, and they're saying, and that's the only reason why he's doing it. But see, the thing is, on on this particular, now I'm not an expert on this by any means. I'm not a, I'm not, I'm not the guy. I'm not the guy. But I do pay attention to what's going on, and I do know that in May of 2019, Iran started attacking the oil tankers in the Gulf. Okay, and then in June 2009, uh, 2019, Iran. Remember when they shot down our drone? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then in September 2019... If somebody sends a drone over your backyard and is taking pictures of your family, what are you going to do? Shoot it down. Um, Blow that shit up. Exactly. And then in July of 2019, Iran seized a British oil tanker. In September of 2019, Iran attacked Saudi state-run oil company. In December of 2019, Iran attacked a U.S. military base in Iraq. And then in December 2019, Iran storms the U.S. embassy in Baghdad. So, in January of 2020, U.S. air strikes Baghdad, killing that Iranian commander. But it's, it's like everybody's acting like it's unprovoked. Well, that is a long list of provoking some shit before it went down. So, you know, I don't know. I mean, I mean when do you say when? I don't know. I just maybe I'm a mm. firm believer in my own fucking business and stay out of everybody else's shit. Right. That way, uh, I well, tend to stay out of trouble. This is just me personally. I'm not saying for the entire country because I don't run the country. It's not my job to make those kind of decisions. Just in my household, when the shit hits the fan outside, you just make sure that the doors are locked and you stay inside. All this to pull people away from the fact that Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. <laughs> oh, that too. <laughs> Oh, oh, but speaking of that, did you guys see that? What What is that? Uh, Gervais? What's his Ricky name? Gervais. Rick, Ricky Gervais. Did you see he his should monologue? get man. He should get time man of the year for what he did the other night. Now, for those of you that didn't check it out, you can definitely check it out in the Radio Underland News Group, and we've got a link down there somewhere. And it's the whole opening unedited monologue from Ricky Gervais 
from the what 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 the what, Golden what, Globes? The, no, is the was that the Golden, Golden Globes? Globes. Yeah, Ford, yeah, the Golden Globes. Yeah, and he just kind of fucking laid into everyone, didn't he? Kind of. He shit on the whole scene. Shit on the whole yeah. program. <laughs> Nobody knew whether to laugh or smile. <laughs> well, or, I think I think everybody watching on this side of the screen, that's outside of that room watching oh, yeah, it, hilarious. is laughing their ass off. But mm-hmm. everybody in that room, I mean, he was poking fun at everybody that's in there, and it was freaking great, man. He tore it up like no 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 holds barred, no censorship. Yeah, you, you know, see Tom Hanks face like to, he lost Wilson. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he was referring to the whole audience as a bunch of perverts, <laughs> and perverts and friends of Jeff, Jeffrey Epstein that flowed that flew themselves oh, to his yeah. island. A lot of heated collars oh, in that man. crowd, buddy. and he literally went. He kept it going the whole night. He never stopped. He never let off, and saved his he saved his greatest bomb for last. When he came out about Weinstein, see, I didn't see that one. That was there was he was talking. They were talking about some movie or something, and about how whatever was going on that that you turn a blind eye. And then he said, "It's kind of like working for the Weinstein company." And the whole crowd was like, "Oh!" <laughs> and he basically just was like, "Stop it!" He's like, "You guys did it." He goes, "You guys did it. You guys." did it for all those years. And you know what makes it so brutal and so offensive to the people in Hollywood is everything he was saying was just fucking truth. Of course it was. You know I guarantee I mean? you there was a lot of this going on in the crowd. Yeah, yeah, a little heat under the collar. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, and I'll tell you what, there's nothing that will piss somebody off than truth bombing them with the truth. That is the fucking most get under their skin and make them feel uncomfortable and they will get so pissed off and it's usually the most that they'll get pissed off is when you're telling them the fucking goddamn truth. Apple Apple and some of the other companies basically he went after them basically saying that they had sweatshops that in they China. Had Chinese sweatshops <laughs> and just to accept your awards and don't thank your gods and, and fuck off. And he also told him he's all, and for all of you he's all he said look who you're working for Disney and Amazon and Apple he, and he said if the Taliban was was if our ISIS. ISIS if ISIS was to open up a streaming service to Tomorrow, you motherfuckers are about to be on the phone to your agent trying to get work. Yep, you know what I mean. <laughs> with ISIS, yeah, with ISIS network. So I don't know, Rick, Ricky Gervais. If you didn't check it out, definitely check it out because I mean, he was he was rocking fools, and I, and he I, said it was his last one. So if that was his last one, boy, did he go out with a bang? For the record, he did not kill himself. Yeah, Epstein. Yeah. And, and, and you know but the thing is no is, not is, Epstein oh Jer- Ricky Gervais Jer- 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 yeah. Jer- if he ends up dead I guarantee you he didn't kill himself it's uh it's going to be another Epstein type situation but you know I was looking at some older monologues of his at the Golden Globes and you know he's always been pretty brash and pretty harsh I don't know uh this one might have been just a, a maybe a 20 percent more but he's always been busting balls in yeah. that and on that show he pretty much said so I mean, yeah. in so many words. Well, and yeah. he opened it basically it's saying... His, it's, his and, style of, it's his style of humor, too. And he basically opened it and said, they're just jokes. Mm-hmm. But, I mean... It, some, <laughs> I mean, I you, have to say that. It's like I mandatory. Thought this, I thought the shit was funny. Was I thought some, it was hilarious. I definitely liked people's reactions. Yeah, yeah. The reactions were just... The uncomfortableness. Yeah. The uncomfortable. Tom Hanks is definitely probably the... He was probably the first big meme of 2020. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After that shit. So you guys remember that story? Uh, it it would happen. Oh, let's see. What's the kid's name? But the kid in the MAGA hat that they were, it was all over the media where they say he got in the face of the Native American yep. and the, uh, in Washington, D.C. Uh, that was back from February 2019. Well, that family went and sued CNN. The family of the boy? The family oh. of the boy went and sued CNN for $275 million. Stop it. Yeah. Well, I mean, that, that court case has been going on for a long time, but... We don't have the details, and they haven't released the details, and I'm sure there's going to be some disclosures and everything where it won't be released, but CNN did settle. What? They settled with him. They, they, they're paying the kid off. And I, the thing that was so disturbing about that media blitz that CNN went on for about six days against this kid, uh, his name was Nick, uh, Nick Sandman. What was his name? Something. Anyways, I, his, yeah, the Sandman family, Nick Sandman. They went on for six days, you know, saying that this kid was getting in the face of the Native American chief dude and all that other kind of stuff. But they had the whole raw footage, just like I reviewed it, and we did a show about it, and I aired the whole raw footage in its entirety. And he never went up into that Native American's face. That Native American walked up into his face and just started beating his drum and doing the thing in his face. It was not – It was not. Um, he was not the pursuer in that whole incident. Yeah. But CNN – and other media networks went out and really railed this kid. Well, he sued for two hundred seventy-five million, and they settled with him. How much money do you think he got? 
Oh, he definitely got somewhere in the in the big number range. I don't know if he broke the hundred million dollar barrier, but I'm sure he got a pretty uh, big number. Yeah, I, I'd be double digits though, something over ten million. Yeah, I'm saying it's got to be seven, at least seven digits, anyways. At least a million dollars. I'm no, I'm sure he probably got into double digits. Yeah, like ten million, ten yeah, million plus, at least. He had to have. He had to have. I mean, fucking. But they, he'll have to sign it. We'll kid. never. You'll never know because I'm sure he had to sign an NDA and all that other. Yeah, stuff. Yeah, we'll never know. But he's gonna start flying to Vegas in his own jet and shit. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> throwing throwing big old parties and shit. We'll see. We'll see. He's gonna start driving some exotic car and all this other nonsense. Uh, but anyways, other than that, did you guys see that Florida mom? Is this the one that gang banged her kids' friends or something? <laughs> that whole the whole idea of this shit is just beyond. It. <laughs> like, dude, what does that do to her daughter? Oh, no, Not she even was beyond oh, that. Okay, gang bang by her daughter. She's an old. Friends. She's an old slut. Whatever happens, she's you know? an old slut. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, funny thing is, she's not even old. She's fucking younger than I am. But you know why it happened? Because Florida. <laughs> but who well, does I, that? It, it tells her daughter to get all her all her little boyfriends over there so she can. Well, that's not. So they can just run a train. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, this is yeah, what yeah. happened. Okay. And you wanted to invite all your friends over and have a party tonight. Okay, so the 40-year-old mom, and this mom has looked like she's had a hard-knock life. And I'm not talking little orphan Annie. I'm talking about street hooker Karen uh, type of life. Well, she's banging five teenagers a night. I mean, it's, <laughs> exactly. she's got some high numbers there. So it was a 40-year-old mom from Brandonton, Florida. And the headline that I'm reading in front of me is that she was gang-banged by five of her daughter's male friends from high school. Now, the way it went down, because I read this story, and the way it went down is mom shows up, and the, and the daughter's having a party, and all of her friends are there, the, the boys are there, and all that kind of stuff. So mom comes in, Florida mom, and uh, she just starts drinking with all the kids. Yep, that sounds about right. Sounds about right, right? Right, you know? <laughs> and so then she tells one of the 16-year-old boys, she says, hey, uh, listen, Chucky, uh, I got to go take a shower, and I need some help. Are you down? 16-year-old boy? Yeah. What do you fuck think Chucky yeah. said? Of course he's yeah. going yeah. to say yeah, yes. Dude. So not only did Chucky say, fuck yeah. He Chucky... probably dabbed all the way up the stairs. Too. <laughs> <laughs> but he also decided to invite two of his other friends along with him. Hey, it ain't no of, fun. Of course. It's like, hey, we're going to bang Stephanie's mom. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so so little Chucky and the 40-year-old Florida, Florida mom head up to the shower. Uh, Chucky brings his two friends. And uh, mom asks Chucky to help her out in the shower. And of course... Chucky helps her out in, by, in the shower by starting to lay pipe while her two friends watch, his two friends watch, and then they start to join in. Anyways, by the end of the night, <laughs> by the end of the night, was it, it was a just, friend. Yeah, it wasn't just Chucky and his two friends. There had been five teenage boys total that had played Thomas the Tank with mom <laughs> and Choo Choo trained her ass. So the two the friends invited up two more friends after and, they and were done. And what I also saw in this article that made it unbelievable is that she was doing this not in the privacy upstairs, but she was doing this in front of her daughter. Oh. Daughter's probably used to it. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get used to that? I guarantee you this is not the first time mom's done something. I was gonna like say this. you don't usually you don't usually start off big like that. No. No. So th- this cannot be the first time. That's been a build up. <laughs> okay, it, Steph, is this rape? Is it rape? Did this four year old woman it is, rape it is these text, five? It is textbook rape. Statutory rape. Textbook yeah, rape. Yeah, statutory rape. It's rape. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. Or is it a double rape? Well, what's... Because if, what's, if she was intoxicated... Hey, she was intoxicated. And they had sex with her, so that means she couldn't... <laughs> what's five? What's what's five? She couldn't say yes, and, and Quad they is four. couldn't what's, say yes. What's five? So Quint. Quint? Mm-hmm. Quint. So it's a, it's a quintuplet? No, it's a quint fucklet. Quint fucklet rape? <laughs> yeah, quint fucklet rape. Uh, anyways, hey, uh, Nate, I know you're busy and you're the only guy here, but my, my, because we're notorious for freezing beers in, in Tom's freezer, uh, yeah. my 30 minute timer just went off for the box that's over there in the freezer. Yeah. And even they're at room temperature since it's Guinness and it's, uh, you know, you put English, the whole box in there, I put the whole box, you know, it's not going to be, cold. Oh, yeah, it's not going to be, it's cold. not going to be cold at all. But, but you know what? Me and Steph will take one regardless. Anyways, I'm not uh, really not sure good. why you thought that would work quite like that, but. Uh, it's not that I thought it would work. It's that I was lazy and I just knew it was easier just to throw the whole box in the freezer than to take them out one by one and then potentially one get lost underneath a frozen chicken and explode and then I have to come back tomorrow and clean up a mess. Yep, valid point. Mm-hmm. Because you'd have They're definitely trackable. got that call. So is, is it rape or not rape? And if uh, it's rape, who committed the rape? The, uh, well, the women or the kids? Well, see, now we got to get into the technical aspect of how intoxicated was 40-year-old mom. 
Were the boys taking care of, uh, taking advantage of the mother? Being drunk because she was intoxicated? Or, or. I mean, if, if, if she's smart, that's how she'll spin it. Right? I was completely <laughs> intoxicated. I don't know what, what all these little boys are doing. And uh, you, are sir. these twist offs? Did they get cold? No, they're not. Just, little glass is uh, a little bit cold. You got, how many one of oh, them right lighters? Here. How many one of them lighters? No, like, here, look. This. Oh, we got a bottle opener. Oh, uh, shout out to Ballast Point who dropped off these bottle openers the other day. And They're our first official sponsor of 2020. Yeah, one of our, well, they just got sponsored right now. Thank you for the bottle opener for Ballast Point. <laughs> yeah, what are we you doing? Want to- I was oh, going to say, oh, does Steph, yeah. not, Steph doesn't right. count? I no, thought you had that not. super strength, you know, and you just do it on your own. Super strength? What am I, a fucking gorilla? <laughs> I wasn't going... I didn't think... I, didn't, <laughs> I, I wasn't going to I wasn't going to say that. Strength, but, like, where is he going to take his... Where are you going to take Of all animals, why did you have to pick a gorilla? Well... It's the, probably I, the I, animal I, you would have picked. I would have not picked a gorilla. I would have picked <laughs> any sure animal would have. other than a gorilla. I would have picked a polar bear mm-hmm. or a bear. A bear. You're very grizzly. A bear. Grizzly-ish. Grizzly. And I noticed that you got like your, a black bear. I need. I noticed that you've got your little uh, your little container of toothpicks there sitting on the uh, a desk. Yeah, they're peppermint. Oh, you know what that reminds me of? That guy from that that tattoo show. What's his name? Oliver Peck. Oh, <laughs> Captain Captain N Word. Well, <laughs> now for those of you that are just tuning in and haven't paid attention to the news today, Oliver Peck, that's his name, right? Oliver Peck from the, so. uh, what was the name of that show? Ink Masters. Ink Masters. Ink Masters. Yeah. So Oliver Peck, who's been on uh, Ink Masters for, I believe, 13 seasons. Why? Did he do something wrong? Well, they went back to his MySpace, Tom. Oh, shit. <laughs> they went back to his MySpace. And I'll, I'll tell you what, at first glance, I saw this story. And, um, and 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 it was saying hey. Oliver Peck. Now 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 Nate, if you actually go to the article that I put that I posted, then oh there it is. Oh. You've got the picture. Uh, Why is anybody even surprised? Because I'm looking at this fucking guy, and <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Well, hold well, on. wait a minute. Is he the Noid? Yeah, well, He's the Noid. I'll wait. I'll wait till Nate actually gets this up on the screen, or Wasn't I might be a, I might be able to pull up. What on my was computer that character faster. from, Steph? What's Noid. Guy? Wasn't he from like a Noid? pizza company? Yeah. Well, hold on, because the listeners don't know what we're talking about because they can't see what we're looking at right now. So anyways, Oliver Peck from uh, Ink Masters. Say hi to your wife. She's watching. Oh, is she? Yeah. Yes. Tell, Hello, tell Missy. Her. Missy, respond to the message that Nate sent you so you can call in on video chat so we can talk about Rise of the Resistance that you wrote today. Just follow the steps in the little message that Nate sent you. Nate, did you send it to her in Messenger or to her actual phone? Messenger. It's in Messenger, Missy. So, oh, anyways. So anyways, Oliver Peck. Somebody started going back through his, uh, there oh, we go. God. Somebody started going back through his MySpace page and they found this picture of Oliver Peck in uh, blackface. Now, I'm not going to jump to any freaking <laughs> conclusions here. Because at first when I heard, oh, he's in blackface. So what? It was on MySpace. Come on, everybody get over it. You know, you're, you're just going too far. But then I saw the picture, Steph. <laughs> and when I saw this picture, this is not just blackface. This is okay. First off, for the you, those of you that are listening to audio only, it's Oliver Peck. He's got a big black afro on his head. He's got his front tooth like blacked out, so it looks like he has a big gap. And he's in a superhero costume. Now, this superhero costume is bright yellow with a big red letter on the chest. And Steph, what is that letter that is in the diamond logo on his chest? It is an N. And what does okay? So now we're going to make assumptions. <laughs> Yeah, don't look over at me and say, what does N mean? <laughs> oh, I'm not going to make the assumption because I can't even say vocally what my assumption is. But we've got this guy. He's in blackface. He's in a superhero costume, and he's got this big N on his chest. Now, Steph, in your best guess, what do you think that N stood for? Nancy. Nancy. Tom, do you concur? <laughs> annoyed. He's annoyed. He's, he's an, is that what it is? He's annoyed. annoyed. He's annoyed. He was bringing back. He was trying to bring back the Noid from Domino. Well, I'll tell you what, man. My mind was going some somewhere completely else with that in closer to Nigerian than any of the things you guys said. <laughs> Nigerian. Uh, wow. Not dark enough. Like, like is that is that too much blackface? That's too much. That's like over the top blackface, right? Like Let at least when you. I did blackface in my day, in my day it was tasteful. When Nate just <laughs> <laughs> when tasteful. my day like four years ago, when Nate just pulled up that picture, I was not surprised that this guy did anything like that. Oliver Peck, yeah, he looks like a douchebag. He kind of acts like a douchebag. Yeah, he does. And yeah. then I not saying what he did was douchey. I, you know, back then it was funny. Right now, it's still funny to me. I cracked up. But um, yeah, he looks like the dude that would be that would call you that to your face. But here's my thing, though. 
all these people that had these social, like even Eddie Murphy came out late uh, recently and said that in blackface. No, oh. recently well, yeah, about, every day, he's regarding black. regarding the <laughs> jokes that he made about gay people back in the eighties. Yeah, and how he said that he considers some of the jokes to be cringy now. Now that he's more educated, because back then he wasn't educated about certain things like mm. HIV and stuff like that. Oh, no, he's more enlightened. Yeah, he's, so, he's more. Okay. But here's my thing with the guys that have done things like this guy that you just pulled up Oliver Peck. Why would they not go back through all of their social media and either get it off, get it down, or get it away? He forgot all about that. Shit. He probably did. Well, I mean, I'll tell you what. Anything that's on my MySpace, I can't even log into it, so I have no clue. I think I think my MySpace was linked to my Hotmail, which got hacked about two decades ago. So uh, <laughs> I have no idea what's up on my MySpace. I, can still I don't sign think it's anything mine. bad. But they took all the fun stuff down, though. <laughs> now it just looks like a. They took all like I think the first time I signed up, the the songs were still playing from back when we, you know, you could set them up the way you wanted. Yeah, your top ten. Yeah, yeah. The top eight or whatever it was. With like all the different picture collages and shit. Just <laughs> Oh, Missy's there. Okay, all right, well, bring up Missy. Put her up on the screen. Can Poor you add her, to the, add her to the stream? And she's got her phone sideways, of course, because she started the phone call in the wrong manner. And it also looks like it's frozen. Uh, uh, pick, she says it's not frozen. Well, You're frozen on our end. You are uh, you are Disney frozen. Oh, you know what? We never figured out the audio issue. Here, I'm gonna call her on just I'm gonna call her on Messenger right now because we never figured out the audio issue when you bullet pull in a call on your uh on, nah, I don't think we did. Yeah, you guys say something real quick. Let me see if I can get something uh, real quick. New message. Uh did you see her, that you can you can name. ban somebody from there? From it's, Messenger? No, from what you just were where that video that you click, it says kick out of studio, ban from studio. Oh. Yeah, well, I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. All right, hold on. Let me <laughs> ban from ban, studio. You get banned from let the studio. Let me do this. Oh, Missy, you're getting uh, kicked out. Let's see. Uh, oh, this is going to be. Oh, let me shut the music down. I didn't realize I was still going. <laughs> oh, hold on. All what right. What a crack show this is. Hey, yeah, crack. Hello? Hey, Miss, what are you doing? How's uh, how's Walt Disney World? Um, it's good. We're uh, closing out the park. We're trying to get on the Skyliner. Um, it's good. Yeah, can you That's tell the really rest cool. of Disney World to shut the fuck up that you're on a show right now? Can you just yell, just <laughs> yell really loud right now and say, "Shut the fuck up! I'm on a shitty radio show." Can you do that, oh, please, I mean, for me? No, I, I could, but there's lots of people around. Actually, there's that's what that's what would make it good. No yeah, here. no, never mind. In fact, don't do that. We don't need any, you know any complaints going to. We don't we don't need bi coastal <laughs> complaints going. No, <laughs> at the Disneyland parks. Uh, but anyways, this morning, Miss, you got to ride uh, Rise of the Resistance. How was it? It was freaking awesome. Legit, probably the coolest ride at Disney. Yeah. Really. Really? It, now, now, uh, okay. Prior to to riding Rise of the Resistance, what is the what is your most favorite ride that you've ever ridden? So far, uh, no. I'm I'm talking Dobby in general. River. I'm talking in general from like Harry Potter, Universal Studios, all the big rides, Transformers. Oh, this one because it's kind of like a mixture of Harry Potter and Transformers mixed together, uh -huh. but a lot smoother. Yeah. And how long did the ride last? Uh, like. Like from walking in line and doing the experience, maybe like ten minutes. Okay, I thought good. it was going to be longer than that. But I think I they said. Yeah, I, I think they so said too. the ride. I think they said the ride itself is like four and a half minutes or five minutes long. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so I think it's like five minutes. I think it's like five minutes of actual ride time, and then like interaction time with like other stuff. Maybe like another five seven minutes. Okay, let's talk about this. How are you enjoying the vacation of your life without me? <laughs> um, <laughs> I I miss you. I wish you were here. Hmm. I don't know. Is she selling that stuff. That, 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 uh, she's, she's sincere. No, no. Seemed I, didn't, like I was... don't think. I thought that was bullshit as fuck. I don't think that was sincere at all. Uh, miss. Uh, no, I really do. I really wish you were here. There's a lot of cool things that I wish you could see. How many more nights are you going to be there? Because I'm thinking of overnighting a couple of the dogs to you. Because I'm just fucking done with them. <laughs> I'll be home Sunday morning. I can't Saturday last Saturday morning. I can't, Saturday morning. You don't understand. You don't understand. These dogs are fucking pushing me to the point of a nervous breakdown. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> Here's the thing. They're super easy. No, they're not. Stella. 
Yes, all Stella wants that motherfucker's is to lay the worst. in bed with you. <laughs> she does not like to be in the crate. She is spoiled rotten. She will cry, and if you just put her in bed, she won't cry at all, and she'll sleep through the night. Hmm. Missy, Jake was, Jake was saying that he's pretty much uh, gone on a hun hunger strike because you only left him soup. I did not just leave him soup. He just doesn't open the refrigerator or the freezer to see anything, and he's too lazy to cook because there's stuff to eat. He just doesn't want to cook. That is not true. I cooked me a whole package of bacon this morning for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, and there's eggs. Did you there's eat any eggs? Things. I had three eggs and a pound of bacon. <laughs> that sounds about right. It's one hell of That's a what I ate. It was fucking delicious. You know, I never thought I'd reach the point of saying, oh, I don't want any more bacon. But after a pound of bacon, I was like, you know what? I'm cool with not having another piece of bacon. How do you cook your bacon, though? Is it the crispy kind? Is it? I like it. I like it slimy and barely cooked where you still have most of the flavor in it. But I will eat bacon in any format. I will eat it super crispy. I will eat it burnt. I will eat it. I will eat it in every format. <laughs> Except raw. I like chewy bacon. Chewy bacon. I like it to be chewy. Yeah. Well, I had a lot of bacon. This I do morning. not like. I do not enjoy crispy bacon at all. The chances of me making it home without a heart attack tonight are slim to none. But I love the bacon. So that's what your husband's doing. He ate a pound of bacon. Yes. Yeah, I believe him. Because you weren't here. And we have another I'm issue. We have another issue that I really didn't want. We have another issue that I really didn't want to address while we were on the air, but I did notice in my underwear uh, drawer today that I'm running uh, dangerously low. Well, then you probably should go buy some because you could do laundry. I don't know how to do that. I was just going to say, wait a minute. You, what, do you, you, what do you mean you're running out of underwear? Do you know how to use the washing machine? No, Tom, I don't he do laundry. He has never I tell you what, what you do clothes. is you just take last week's and you turn them inside out. I've, I don't do I, like I don't do clean. laundry. I don't do laundry here either. But if I had to go upstairs to do laundry, I could get through it. Oh, yeah, no, you he's lost never me at this. A single pair of his underwear in his life. Yeah, and I'm running a little low. So I, yeah, the the, the easier option would be just to stop and buy more. You just gotta stop at a 24 hour Walmart I'm, and buy one. I know that's what you're underwear. gonna do. So I'm not even gonna argue this laundry. one. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So uh, I, it's like literally, I married my dad because my dad used to go to his mom's. I do not watch gay porn old, on the routine. Who's ninety something years old to go get his clothes washed, and if he was running low, he would just buy more. I know. Have you watched any porn this week with Missy's dad in in Missy's absence? <laughs> no, I have not. <laughs> Because I think that would Perfect be time. I think that would be kind of you to do that. It'd probably yeah. be less awkward. It'd be a good bonding experience. Yeah, well, I, yeah, no, I'll pass. I'll pass. I'll pass. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> Miss, I, I, so there's a bunch of news. When was the last time you were at Disney World? I was 18, and I don't remember a single thing. Hmm. How was uh, good. Pandora? Just like, at like all of our Kingdom. shows was in 2016. Cool? Oh, um. So, I've written Navi River Journey or whatever it's called. And that is freaking awesome. I wish we had it back at home. Uh, we haven't done the big one of Pandora yet. We ride that tomorrow. Um, so I'm excited to ride that. Is that the flight? There's actually the, the, a lot of cool stuff here that we don't have at home. Oh, there's a ton. I tell people that all the time. Disney World far uh, outbeats Disneyland. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, okay. Like it does in some ways, but it doesn't in others because like, their small world is booty. It is like just down like fantasy land and like a regular building. It's not its own self standing building. It's just, it's like that small world. It's really strange. Well, I don't know um, if you've ever noticed, but the small world that we have is pretty booty too. Yeah. And it's really strange. Yeah. And no, it's really strange. It's pretty awesome. Well, okay. <laughs> if you say so. Um, but the one thing I did notice is like the buildings just seem so much more bigger more space i think they're getting ready to do something big because they bought they just bought like another like six thousand acres of land down there over there yeah all right miss well we'll let you get back to disney world and um can you just before you go to sleep tonight just just forward me your room number and the address because i'm gonna overnight uh, the three small dogs to you and you can deal with them over there put them in the kennel club or whatever you want to do but i'm fucking over it I've, 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 I've already it's already been the last straw for me <laughs> well we just walked miles to get the skyliner and they just told us it closed but everyone was directing us there because they said it 
ran oh, an hour after the park closed. Well, that's okay. And, and like I said, just send me your hotel, the room number, and the address, and you make sure oh. make sure you check the mail at the front desk tomorrow because you're going to have three yappers sitting there in an overnight so, like, FedEx box. Here's the box. thing. Now you should like appreciate what I do when I'm not. That we're like when I'm there. I refuse to. Awesome. I like refuse it. to. I refuse to. You know why? Because you're the one that went, that made the decision to have four dogs. Oh it's yeah. Your what choice. about your clothes and what about eating? How about all that stuff? Oh yeah, I just I I I, I made the decision to marry you to take care of that stuff. So yeah, that was my decision. No. <laughs> that wasn't really the. I don't think that was really the what direction she was, she was looking for. <laughs> hey miss, are you going to bring me back something cool? She no. was. She was kind Not of. A thing. Nope. <laughs> well, she was going to bring you back something cool till that moment. All right, Miss. I love you. Uh, I'm I'm just joking. And have a good night at wherever you're doing. And I will see you. Is it Sunday that I'll see you? Saturday. Saturday. No, you're picking me up Saturday morning. We have a wedding on Saturday night. Okay. So I hope okay. you have clothes for that. Well, <laughs> he may not have underwear. Well, he'll have clothes, but he may not have underwear. <laughs> yeah. Guess I'll have to take care of that himself. Which could be good for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, miss. I'll t- I'll talk to you later. Tell all the kids hi, okay? I will. Bye. Have fun. All right. Have fun. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. Yeah, I don't know. I think she was a little aggravated by the end of that call. Yeah. I don't know why. Well, and, it, and I'm sure it probably doesn't help that they just walked a, a mile, mile we to, to, the to find out that the their transportation was closed. Yeah, but Rise of the Resistance. When does that open here for California? Nate, do you know when that opens for us? The 17th. The 17th? And Mm -hmm. I'll tell you right now, it's probably going to be, you're going to be standing in line for hours. Hours and hours. They're they're doing virtual queue for the ride. I think they have to. I can barely hear you. I said they're doing the virtual queue for that ride. Oh, are they? Yeah, it's a new new queuing system. And and have we heard any, like, updates of how that's going to work? I'm sure there have been. Honestly, I haven't looked into it too much myself. Virtual queue. I bet it's gonna, well, I know that Missy was saying that in Florida, what they had to do is they had to be inside the parks and then just go on their app and then they get in a uh, they get a boarding pass that's grouped together. And each boarding pass number includes like 200 people or something. Yeah, like I'm that. sure it's something going to be yeah. something similar to that. And it's going to break that that ride is going to break repeatedly because they said it's their most am- it's definitely their most ambitious ride. Well, if if you happen to watch any of the Imagineering series on Disney Plus, they give you a little sneak preview on the last episode. So Yeah, I saw I saw the video of it. I mean, it definitely looks amazing. Yeah, what I they've mean, done. From what I saw on Disney Plus, it looks really cool. Yeah. Hmm. So, but it they've definitely said it's the, by far their most ambitious ride they've ever done. So yeah, yeah. It, it, it technically, because I did see there's videos that are floating around on YouTube where it's like uh, somebody riding through the whole ride, and you can kind of watch and see what's going on. And I did watch that, and it does look rather. And I think impressive. it's. I think that, and I think there's different <coughs> endings or different courses that. So I think it can go different ways. I think so. Jake. <laughs> Jake. Uh, yeah. Jake. yeah. Miss, Missy just asked you to call her back. Well, well we, okay, all right. She said she could tell us about the queue. She can tell oh, us about the queue. Okay, the queue. well, well, I mean, just because the way they do it in Florida doesn't mean that's the way they're going to do it here. But they could. So I would well, imagine they will. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> let's try her again because I do. I am curious to see how they're going to do it here in California. So let's see how they do it in Florida. It's going to be on. chaos. Yeah, it's probably going to be. All right, there it is. It's ringing. Let's see if she picks up. Okay. All right. So, how is the queue system working in Florida for uh, Rise of the Resistance? So you had to be inside the park by seven o'clock. Seven a.m. Um, the only way you can, whenever the park opens, um, and as soon as you get in the park. At 7 a.m. when it's officially open, you can go into the app and get in a queue line for your party of however many are going. Uh But they all have to be added to your app. Like, you can't just request six fast passes or whatever for six people. You have to have each person logged and linked to your account. Holy shit. Oh, wow. To add everyone. Yeah. And and then, so, like, we were there... We got to the parks at like 5.15, and they didn't let us in until about 6.45, and then they put us in like a holding area, and then we were in front of Star Wars Land, and at 7, 
a.m. We were on the phone, on the app, trying to get into the queue line. So you can't even get in the queue line. It's closed. And at 7 a.m. when the parks open, they open the queue lines and you have everything loaded and you just press check in or whatever. And that's when you get your number. So for each number, they allow 100 people per and that's called a boarding pass, line. right? So, and you did that through the. I mean, we use an app. Pass. We use an app here in Southern California for the Disneyland parks, and it's kind of the same thing for back same there. Thing. Same thing. Same thing. Same okay. thing. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. But how, so, so I the saw that. So next to us, we had the people next to us were ninety three. The other people next to us had forty seven, and we were fifty six. Okay. So how All did right. you? So you got on. So you did that at first thing in the morning. What time did you finally get on the ride? about 11 30 and you were there at like open and you still it was yeah, still and now, hour delay. now once they called your boarding pass to get on the ride how long do you have to wait in line before you actually started in the ride because I, I know that there's stuff like, going on in the line for the ride but, but 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 did you have to like wait wait around outside before you actually got in the building like once they called your boarding pass how long was it before you started seeing what's going on on the ride um well, like you still walk through like an inside building and there's obviously like details and stuff, but not like actual interactive stuff. Probably like a 10 minute wait. That's not the cool bad. thing about this one, which I don't know if we'll have back home, is that the whole line had like these built in like rock benches. So you weren't, didn't have to stand if you could sit. <laughs> mm. Okay. How did, now All I right. saw that you got to go on back to back. How did that happen? So my little niece who is 40 inches tall, was super excited, and she was so excited to ride, but she's right at 40 inches, Yeah, and they said that she wasn't tall enough, oh. even though oh, she so was, you gotta write, so you gotta, because uh, they're like, so you so got like a baby a exchange, switch. a right, oh yeah, a switch, okay, all right, okay, yeah, you don't have to go mm-hmm. further details, because I know what happened in the rest of the story, but I think you should leave that out. <laughs> <laughs> Just because. Yeah, yeah. So we got a ride switch. Hey, have you seen any social clubs back there in uh, Florida? Just that one, and they're all Canadian. Which one? They're all Canadian. Which one? I don't know. Whatever picture I sent you guys, I don't even remember what it was called. Yeah, oh, it was a uh, it was a ghost, a, a, a like a hat box ghost one, right? I think so. no, no. And I think they it looked was at the, me strangely. The three ghosts. I they think. looked at you strange. Well, did you say hi to them or what? Well, yeah, I was at uh, lunch at Be Our Guest, so it's like one of the happy haunters. Things that we They're did. the happy yeah. haunters, and you and did you tell them? Did you tell them what social club you were a part of? Well, they were eating when I was walking out of the restaurant, and I just walked up to them and I was like, "Hey, I'm Missy from the Rabbits, and just wanted to say hi to other social clubs. Club and what did they besties. say? <laughs> they ran. They ran away fast. And they're like, "Hi." <laughs> no, they're like, "Oh, hi." Nice to meet you. Very short. I said if they were local, because I didn't read their patches, but I knew they were in vests. Mm. And they said, no, we're from Canada. There's about seven of us. Oh, wow. Oh, so tell them congratulations. Now that they met you, they'll probably be added to a lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Oh, man. <laughs> Okay. All right. All right, miss. Okay. All right. Thanks for the updates and letting us know how the, uh, the, 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 the system works for writing right of the rise. Yeah, of the it's, and it, it's kind of kinda nerve wracking. Uh, <clears throat> okay. But yeah, you can get there early and as long as you're in through the gates by opening, you're sure to get in, but you just don't know in what order and what your boarding pass is going to be. Okay. So, so it's, it's not like random. a fast pass where they give you a time. You just have to wit, figure out and kind of like a loading thing like, oh, we're doing one through 20. Mm, okay. And, that's crazy. But, All right. All right. Oh, that's, that well, have fun. How, how long of a walk do you have right now back to your hotel? I'm sorry? How long of a walk do you have back to your hotel right now? Uh, well, we're trying to get to the bus, and so hopefully we can even get on the bus. Oh, okay. All right. All right, Missy. All right. Have fun. Have fun in uh, uh, Florida, and, and we'll see you Saturday. Okay. Love Bye. you. All right. Love you, too. Bye-bye.
All right. So, anyways, it's going to be a clusterfuck once it opens up here in Southern yep. California. You, you, think it's, you think it's going to be worse here in Southern California yes. than it is in Florida? Yep. Now, I heard her saying that in Florida, the, like the lines, like uh, Toy Story, it's like four hours. It's like the, all the lines back there right now are just really well. This is, ridiculous. but see, the problem right now is these are the worst times to go. You know, when you go to like with Disney World, like New Year's and Christmas week, those are the worst, and Thanksgiving week, those are the worst worst weeks to go. Yeah, is it? Yeah, well, just crowd wise. I thought we were wise. past that. I thought this would be like you know we're past all the holidays and now it's getting slow. But I guess kids are still on vacation. Yeah, right? I mean there'll be lulls at certain parks, but yeah. it's certain you know there's especially where it's new. I mean you figure uh, Animal Kingdom. I mean the 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 Avatar stuff at Animal Kingdom has been open for two years now, and they're still running three or four hour lines. Yeah, yeah, it's it's freaking on nuts. the no, on on during like a regular time or normal time. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I've never been to the... Tom, you have been to Disney World, haven't I you? have, yes. yeah. I've it's never been a been while. There. We haven't been there since 2012. 2012? Was, was the last time we went. All right, yeah. I've so never that was, been. So that was You've before. never been? Never been. I love Disney World. I'm dying to go back there. I'm waiting for my granddaughter to get... I don't know, maybe like five or six. Five, yeah. five and six is We're a blow her, Where she's old enough for it to blow her mind. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And she's tall enough to get on stuff, you know? Yep. That's when we took McKenna and John, both when they were five. And mm-hmm. they was like, mm-hmm. ma- it's like magical to them. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, Rachel, here's a story that you might be interested in because there's a new uh, study that was released. Okay. And a new study confirms that a woman could stand to benefit from having more than one husband in case one gets sick or hurt. And normally when we look at polygamy, we're looking at husband with multiple wives. And there's been a ton of TV shows that delve into the subject, such as Big Love on HBO, Three Wives, One Husband, etc. But it's always when there are multiple women at play. However, the latest study says that the biggest benefit is not when a husband has multiple wives, but when a wife has multiple husbands. (laughs) <laughs> Rachel said she could get behind it. I know she's not a microphone, but she said she can get behind it. Tom, how would you feel about having brother husbands? Brother husbands. Brother husbands. Rachel is just screaming that you would love it. I can't say it. Might not be a bad thing. <laughs> you would always have a game partner. I could just be like, listen, you go fucking deal with that. Yeah, but you, so okay, so you get a brother husband and you're sitting there and you're playing what like Call of Duty, end of the World War Three, I invade Iran, whatever the fuck you're playing, and then all of a sudden your, your buddy that you're, you're sitting there playing gaming with, like the best friend aspect of it would be pretty cool. But when you're sitting there playing, it's like ah, uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna roll off. Uh, I'm I'm gonna break off Tom and I'm gonna go fuck Rachel. You'd be cool with that. Well, <laughs> <laughs> he's like well. Well, <clears throat> well, well. He's thinking about it. He's thinking. About it. He's not even gonna answer. He's thinking about it. Ray, then you'd be able to tap in this guy for when he falls asleep. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Tap in. Okay, Tom, you go to bed. I'm telling you. Oh, Nathan, <laughs> give Rachel your microphone because <laughs> I need to hear what she. Rachel, you gotta come sit on this couch if you're gonna talk to us about okay. this. Tom, sit, sit right here next to Steph. Tom would love it because it would. You know, he doesn't have to give up his video game time. <laughs> That's Tom. such poor shit. <laughs> Tell me I'm lying. You know wow. you would love that shit. No, I wouldn't. Just for the oh, games? full of shit. He's saving face. Tom, no. are you saying that you'd rather play video games than have uh, intimate, re- in- intimate, sexy time relationships with your wife? No, that is not true. <laughs> he says that... Maybe only sometimes. <laughs> Rachel is laughing <laughs> maniacally. Like Rachel, do you feel the same way that Tom would rather have... Uh, he would rather fall asleep in your vagina than play video games? Well, he has, so yeah. <laughs> It only happened once. <laughs> I'm surprised once is You're once. never gonna live that down here. So Nope. But Rachel, do you feel do you feel see Tom, now now it's we're talking about the attention. It's how it's how Rachel feels. Mm-hmm. But Rachel, well, what about the balance? Where's the balance? Well, Rachel, do you feel that Tom would rather play video games than what is this? Wait a minute. When did this just become fucking Dr. Phil? <laughs> when she sat down, it became Dr. Phil. Do you, do you feel that Tom would rather play video games than go up there and, you know, have, you Absolutely. know? Absolutely. Oh, God. Absolutely. I can't wait till Missy gets back Absolutely. here, motherfucker. Tom, how does that make you feel that Rachel thinks that you would rather play video games and spend romantic time she with her? She knows damn well that's not true. Then why is she saying that, Why Tom? can't you join the two, though? Why can't he play... The video game and enjoy a blowjob at the same time. That's a valid point. The same reason why I can't enjoy a fucking massage and get head at the same time. Well, Tom. 
Point, counterpoint. Yeah. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Oh, my all right. goodness. All right. All right. I, I two don't husbands. Know. Okay, but okay. okay. What right, about the husbands. ratio mm-hmm. of men to women? Apparently, there's more women in the world than there are men, right? Yeah, but you have to take into fact, uh, Steph. I mean, scientifically, women have more holes than men, too. Yeah, too. Then you have to think, you have to think about all of 